Before starting this video, I just want to justify the, the thumbnail and the title that I made for this video, and then you can decide whether or not you want to watch the full video. So I mentioned that there are some secret passives. So let's talk about the first one. I have many others in the video, by the way, but let's talk about the first one. So Dusk Blade of Draktar. This item allows you to deal bonus damage after being unseen for a few seconds. So, um, you know, as you can see, the passive is up right now of the Dusk Blade. So whenever I hit an enemy champion, it deals bonus damage. But there is something about this item that you may not know. So let's say, let's say you want to rotate. You're playing mid lane, you have the Dusk Blade, and you want to rotate to top lane. Let's take a look. I want you to look at the Dusk Blade of Draktar icon right over there. Take a look at it, okay? Take a look at it. I'm rotating, I'm rotating, I'm rotating, and boom. What happened? It went on a cooldown. Let me tell you what this means. This means that within a radius of my vision, within a radius of this circle... Like, uh, you know, uh, let me show you over here. Like, this is my radius, as you can see. It's actually a little bigger than the ability. There is an enemy. Let me prove it to you. And I, you cannot see it, but you know that there is an enemy. Like, look, I walk here. I walk here. Enemies cannot see me. I walk here. Enemies can see me. Let's prove it. Boom. There is an enemy waiting for me all the way in that bush. And with the dust plate of Draktar, you'll know. You'll know all the way from here. Like, how, how useful can this be? Look, you're walking here, and you can already tell that there is an enemy in this bush. Okay? So, this is the first item. And now, like, I'm going to show you everything and everything you need to know about all the items. This is going to be a very long video. So, if you want to stay after this part, you know, stay. If you don't want to stay, then thank you for watching the beginning part. And I'm sorry for clickbaiting you, you know? So, I'll be splitting this video in different parts, which is physical items, magic items, defense items, boots. I'll put timestamps in the description if you want to skip around to them. By the way, guys, make sure to subscribe if you're enjoying the content, you know? Just subscribe. You'll, you'll get notifications for all the videos. So, let's talk about the first item, which is Bloodthirster. I'm gonna go through them very briefly to make the video as short as possible. It gives you 15% uh, physical vamp, so uh, lifesteal for basic attacks, and the passive is, whenever you basic attack an enemy, you will not only heal, but you will also generate a shield on top of your HP. As you can see, I'm attacking the dummy, and I have a shield. It's like the mountain dragon. That's basically what this item gives you. You know, it gives you like a mountain dragon, a shield, uh, but when you're out of combat, it decays. So as you can see, the shield becomes lower. So that's all this item really does. Really, it's all what it does. And it's only really good on Draven. So about the static shift. Let me show you what a static shift does. So let's put enemy dummies over here. And as you can see, look at to the right, you can see the blue thing. Boom, it has 100 stacks now. And whenever I shoot an attack on enemy, boom, it shoots a thunder through them. Literally a thunder. And that is it. That's all this item does. You stack up these things. So, And whenever you hit an enemy, um, you also get stacks. As you can see, boom, you get 10 stacks when you hit an enemy and when you walk around. And when you shoot it at 100 stacks, let's take a look at it again. Boom. It shoots thunder to enemies. Okay. Let's sell this item and let's delete these dummies because they are kind of tilting. Like all the turret shots are kind of tilting me. Let's put one over here. And let's talk about the next item, which is uh, Blade of the Wound King. Now, this item has a lot of things. And I'm going to try to make it easy for you. First of all, when you're a ranged carry, your basic attacks will do bonus damage equal to 6% of the enemy's HP. So I will do bonus damage equal to 6% of the dummy's HP. When you're a melee character, it will be 9%. So when is this good? This item is good when you can do a lot of basic attacks. Like Fiora, for example, because Fiora can do basic attack, third ability, and her third ability gives her bonus attack speed. So you can do like three basic attacks really fast. And three times 9% is 27% of the enemy's HP. Now on top of that, hitting the enemy three times, one, two, three, Gives you bonus movement speed, as you can see. You will, and it will. It not only gives you bonus movement speed, but it steals it. So um, it steals twenty five percent of the enemy's movement speed for two seconds. So you will slow the enemy, and you will get faster. So this is really, really good if you want to catch out, catch up to the enemy, right? And if you're against a lot of ch uh, champions with a lot of HP. Let's talk about. I cannot click about rapid fire cannon, and uh, let's go to the shop first, of course. Uh, so this. This item has the same passive as Static Shift. You can stack up the, the thingies by hitting the enemy. Boom, boom, boom. Like, you can stack it up. And you can stack it up by walking around. But what this item does, I want you to take a look at my range. Boom. It gives you bonus range. And it allows you to hit the enemy from farther away, as you can see. Like, I cannot hit him anymore. It just allows you to hit them from farther away. And also, something that I forgot to mention about this item is it deals bonus damage. As you can see, 100 stacks. 
boom, you get 66 bonus damage. Let me show you one more thing. When you get Static Shift and Rapid Fire Cannon, um, you will get both passives, but not both both the bonus damage. The only reason that this was more because Static Shift, it just crit. I was it, had, it was a lucky crit. So I don't recommend you to get both these items. Only get one because they have the same passive. Okay, let's talk about the next item. Runan's Hurricane. Now this item, let me put more dummies over here. Let's look. Boom. 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 It shoots two more arrows to nearby enemies, dealing 40% of your basic attack damage. And that's all it does. Look, my basic attack deals 167, and on the other dummies, 67, as you can see. See that? Boom. Boom. That's all it does. And another thing to note about this item... Oops, I want to take away these dummies because they're tilting me. Uh, another thing to note about this item is it, it applies on-hit effects. What does on-hit effects mean? So, for example, if you have a Blade of the Rune King and you have Runan's Hurricane, you will actually slow all the enemies and you will steal all of their movement speed. So, it's a really, really good combination with items that have um, um, on-hit effects. Okay? Keep that in mind. So, the next item is Yumo's Ghost Blade. So, first of all, this item gives you stacks. But whenever you hit an enemy, boom. It removes the stacks, as you can see. Boom. But you will deal bonus damage, which I'm actually not dealing to the dummy, but on an enemy champion, you will deal bonus damage. So when I walk around, and I want you to take a look at what happens when I have 100 stacks. Boom. I get movement speed. And when I shoot the enemy, boom. I deal damage again. And um, that's all this item really does. You know, you, you stack up movement speed, as you can see on the bottom. And you need to wait until you have 100 stacks before hitting a basic attack. And then you will be really fast. Another thing to note is... Um, which is also a C... Well, not a secret. But a thing that you really might not know. Which is this item provides 10 armor penetration. Now, what's the difference between 10 armor penetration and, for example, here, 24% armor penetration? Let me tell you guys. This is a thing that you really might not know which can really improve your building. Which is that... Um, this means flat armor penetration. So all enemies have bo have standard armor. So let's take a look at what Jin has. Jin has 90 armor, as you can read over there. 90 armor on level 15. Now, when the enemy gets a Yumo's Ghost Blade, this means that they, they will reduce Jin's armor by 10. So what that means is that Jin will not have 90 armor, but he will have 80 armor. You know, it's a flat reduction. Now, when the enemies have a black cleaver and they stack up to the 24%, you have to take 24% of the 90 armor that he has. So, what is my conclusion? Flat armor penetration is amazing against squishy targets. Because squishy targets at level 1 have very, very little armor. Like, they might have like 20, 30, 40 armor, you know? Like, almost nothing. So, flat armor penetration is going to allow you to absolutely shred through them. So, keep in mind, flat armor penetration is useless against tanks. You know, don't think that, oh, it's armor penetration, it might be good. No, it's not good. Xcounter actually made a full video explaining the maths behind it. I'll put a link to it in the description in case you're interested. So another thing that Yumo's Ghost Blade offers is attacking with max momentum grants you 25% attack speed for 4 seconds. So now, boom, I have 25% bonus attack speed for 4 seconds. You know, that's on top of the bonus movement speed. <clears throat> Dusk Blade of Draktar, as I showed you in the intro of the video, whenever you're unseen, like look, right now I am unseen by the enemy you get the bonus attack. So let's walk to the enemy. You can. You have five seconds to shoot him. Boom! And you deal bonus damage. Okay? But when the enemy can see you, of course, you cannot see it. And in the intro of this video, I already showed you what use you can have for this item. You know, when you're ganking, like when you're playing Zed with the Dusk Blade, you can gank a lane and then... Um, you know, you, you'll see that you don't have the Dusk Blade. So I really want to give a massive shout out to Mozilla, which is a player of Nova, for, you know, giving me these tips. He really helped me understand all the items. So big shout out to him. I'll put his Twitter account in the description if I don't forget. Infinity Edge. All this item does, it gives you crit damage, it gives you attack damage, and you will do bonus damage with your crit. So when you shoot a critical shot, here, 260 damage. So let's take a look. My basic attacks deal 151, and um, like normally my crit would deal less than 260. But with the Infinity Edge, my crit deals 30% more damage. Now, when is this item good? This item is, of course, good if you want to do big crit damage, you know? If you want to build a lot of critical items, 
the infinity edge is necessary you cannot build a crit build without infinity edge okay so keep that in mind this is also a really good first item by the way it has a lot of uh, base damage which is 55 attack damage and the 25 percent critical rate is nice and like the two like this is just a beautiful item for um champions that rely on critical damage so let's take a look at the next item which is mortal reminder look at the passive 30 percent armor penetration 30 percent it's not flat this is 30 percent so if the enemy has 1000 armor if you get a Yumo's ghost plate they'll have 990 after but if you get a mortal reminder they'll have 700 so with this item you'll reduce 300 armor and with this one only flat 10 so when is this item good of course when the enemy has a lot of armor now as i said excondo made a video explaining to you exactly when you should buy this and when that but basically if the enemy has a lot of armor get mortal reminder if they don't get flat armor penetration now the other thing that this item does is um, applies grievous wounds to the enemy champion what does grievous wounds do as you can see you can see the little shield with the heart in the middle of it this this means grievous wounds grievous wounds reduce the enemy healing and I think it's by like 40 or 50%. I don't know the exact number, but basically, if the enemy heals a lot, this item is a gem. Let me give you an example. If the enemy has Mundo, which is tanky and heals a lot, and if they have Nasus, who is also tanky and heals a lot, this is a must, an absolute must buy item. Okay? Because this is firstly, it's going to reduce their healing. Secondly, you're going to shred 30% of their armor. <clears throat> Let's take a look at Black Cleaver. Oops, I'm outside. So, this is also a very interesting item. Um, so it gives you bonus health, bonus attack damage, and 25 ability haste, which means 25 ability cooldown. Um, it's not exactly 25, it has a formula behind it, but basically ability cooldown. So dealing physical damage to an to an enemy champion reduces the armor by 4% for 6 seconds, and you can stack it up 6 times. So this is physical damage, this is physical damage. Uh, actually, it might be ability damage. This is also physical damage. You know, whenever your ability deals physical damage, you will stack up the passive of it. You'll you'll shred 4% of their armor and up to 24%. Also, you have the passive of the Vage, which is um, attacks grant you 20 movement speed. Boom. See? This is 20 movement speed. Boom. Every time you attack an enemy, you get 20 movement speed because you have the Vage passive. And when you kill an enemy, you get 60 movement speed. So, um, yeah, as I said, this is not flat armor penetration. This is percentage. So this item is an absolute tank shredder, okay? You shred through tank's armor. So um, let's take a look at some other items, which is the next one. Man immune. Now, this one has a lot to it. Grants attack damage equal to 1.5% of max mana and refunds 15%. Let me tell you, okay? So, um, um. Can I see it here? How much mana I have? Yes, I have 1,488 mana now. And this one gives me grants attack damage equal to 1.5% of max mana. So my max mana is 1,488. So 1.5% would be like um, like uh, 20, 21 bonus damage. 21. So my basic attacks are going to do 21 bonus damage. And the funny thing is, Mana Mune actually has Tear of Goddess. As a build factor so this tier, tier of goddess can stack up to seven 700 bonus mana and when you buy this item you always want to start the game with where is the item Ma sapphire crystal sapphire crystal allows you to stack up the tier like as you can see i'm stacking it up it goes from 35 up and like whenever you stack this of course you're gonna get more max mana so when you get the mana immune you have 700 mana on top of your max mana already to do even more damage now, when you get 700 mana, this item upgrades into Murama. And Murama has another, has another passive to it. As you can see, it has the grants attack damage, blah, 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 equal to 1.5% of max mana. So it doesn't matter how much mana you use, it will always be based on your max mana. And here it says, attacks against champions consume 3% of your current mana to deal double that amount as bonus physical damage. Let me explain. If I have 2,000 mana, if I have 2,000 mana, uh, let's take a look at Murama again. Let's say I have 2,000 mana. Uh, first of all, I'm going to deal 1.5% of that as bonus damage, which is 30 bonus damage. First of all, that. Secondly, I'm going to consume 3% of the 2,000, which is 60 mana, and you will deal double that as bonus damage. So you need to understand this. So you'll do 120 bonus 
physical damage okay so this item is of course really really good if your champion needs mana you know it basically that if your if your attack damage champion needs mana basically corky and Ezreal, no one else so it's kind of hard to understand that item but i hope i really explained it well so here comes the next hard to understand item which is trinity force trinity force provides you with a lot of stats like max health attack damage attack speed ability haste it's an all-rounder however it doesn't provide you with mana they actually took that away it also provides you with five percent bonus movement speed so let's take a look using an ability causes the next attack used within 10 seconds to do bonus physical damage equal to 200 percent base damage let me explain to you what base damage is base damage is as you can see over there 220 um no actually that's not the base damage um you you actually cannot see how much base damage you have the way that you can see it is you have to sell all your items and here Jin's base damage is 177 so whenever i get a trinity force it trinity force doesn't take into account how much attack damage i'm buying so even if i go full build it only looks at my base damage which is 177 so as you can see basic attack deals 121 damage when i shoot an ability you can see that the trinity force passive is active and boom, I do bonus damage equal to my base damage, as you can see. Now, when is this item good? This item is really, really good when you have a champion who spams abilities. As you can see, it only has 1.5% cooldown. So when you're playing Darius or Nasus, where you're spamming your abilities, you can keep th throwing it. Boom. Wait 1.5 seconds. Throw an ability. Another time hit the Trinity Force. Wait. Throw an ability. And again, hit the Trinity Force. That's how you need to utilize the Trinity Force. Wait 1.5 seconds and you can keep spamming it. Of course, this item, just like the Phage, has bonus movement speed when you hit the enemy. Because it's built uh, from a Phage, as you can see. Attacks grant 20 movement speed. So when you hit an enemy, 20 movement speed. And when you kill an enemy, 60 movement speed. So the next item is... Let's take a look. Ma of Malmortius. But firstly, I want to talk about Hextag Hex Drinker, which is a building part of this item. Whenever you take crisp, whenever you take magic damage that puts you under 35% HP, it grants you a shield that absorbs 150 magic damage. So this does not skill. What does that mean? This is an early game item. You like you want to get this item super early game. Because 150 magic damage is a lot in the early game, but it's nothing in the late game. So when you're against a Gragas in the top lane, for example, you can get Hex Drinker early. Firstly, because it's going to give you a lot of magic resist. It gives you 30% magic resist. It gives you 15 attack damage. And of course, the passive lifeline, which can be huge in the early game. So I suggest you to get Hex Drinker if you really feel like you need the bonus uh, shield when you get low to the enemy. Because this can be very clutch item. Okay, so the Mouth Mamorsis is kind of like boosted of this item. So magic damage that puts you under under 35% uh, HP absorbs 350 damage, which is way more than the 150 of the Hex Drinker. Again, this does not scale into the late game. So, you know, it's like it's still good, but it doesn't scale up. So that can be a little problem. It's really, really good if you want to go for full glass cannon, because this is going to give you that shield. And life grip, triggering lifeline, so whenever you trigger the bonus uh, shield, you know, that puts you under 35% HP, you it gives you a bonus 30 attack damage, a bonus 10 physical vamp, and a bonus 10 magical vamp. So if an enemy puts you under 35% HP with magic damage, you will trigger the lifeline, you know, get the eight bonus HP, uh, bonus shield, sorry. And on top of that, it grants you 30 attack damage and the bonus, bonus uh, lifesteal until exiting combat so if you keep fighting the enemy oops this is a huge 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 buff really really huge like you get life steal and attack damage so next item this is death dance so with the death dance i actually really need to show it to you on a turret how it works okay yeah let me show it to you under a turret so as it reads while we're walking to the turret it gives you bonus max health bonus attack damage bonus ability haste 10 percent physical vamp but this is the big thing about it 30 percent of the damage taken is, de is instead dealt as bleed effect over 3 seconds. What does that mean? If the enemy deals 100 damage to you, you actually take 70% initially, and then 10 damage every second afterwards for 3 seconds. Now you might think, why is that useful? Let me show it to you, by the way. So let's take a turret shot. 143, 21, 21, 21, as you can see. So again, let me show you. Boom, boom, boom. Here, look. 
30% of the damage, it takes it over time. Now, when the hell is this item useful? Let me tell you. This item is useful if you're against burst. And it is only useful against burst. It's not useful against anything else. Let me explain. Let's say enemy Z uses ultimate on you. And uh, this, the ultimate, like you barely survive the ultimate because, you know, you take 30% reduced damage. And with the physical vamp of this item, you can fight and heal up. So this item is going to give you sustain against burst champions. Only build this item against burst champions. Please don't build it against sustain because it's absolutely useless. Okay, next item, which is Phantom Dancer. And I actually have to walk to a turret again for this. Um, damage that puts you under 35% health grants you a shield that absorbs based on your level, either 240 or it skills with your level. So again, let's run under the turret and get under 35% HP and see what happens. So this item is really, really good if you need survivability and critical root damage. Here. Did you see that shield? Like I took zero damage from the turret because of the shield. This item is huge if you need crit damage. And if you need survivability. This item is really, really nice on Yasuo and Vayne, by the way, guys. You know, this item is going to give you that survivability that you need to continue fighting. Now, this item is very, very interesting. Umbral Glaive. Uh, Umbral Glaive? Yes. Unfortunately, I cannot exactly show you how it works, but I'm going to explain anyways. So, whenever there is a ward close to you, like, you know, whenever there is an enemy ward here, you will be able to see it. Like, it, it's basically the same as a sweeping lens. You know, your lens... Wait, I, I'm actually going to get the lens. But it's a, it's just a little different, you know? Let me explain what's different about it. So, whenever the enemy places a ward, like, boom, you'll be able to see it, but not from very close. Like, you'll be able to see it from here, something like this. The range is not as big as the sweeping lens. And my camera froze, so let me just fix that real quick. One second, guys. But the cool thing about this item is... Um, whenever you see the enemy ward, it gives you 8 seconds, uh, and in these 8 seconds, you have blackout where you can see, uh, like, all the enemy wards around you, and you will one-shot them. Like, when you shoot on the enemy ward while having the blackout passive, you will one-shot the wards. But let me tell you one bad thing about this item. Let's say the enemy has a ward here, and you're umbro like, you walk here, so the enemies can actually see you before you reveal the ward. So, like when you're, let's say you're walking to the enemy ward, boom, they can see you, and now the Umbro Glaive gets triggered. So, unfortunately, the range on the Umbro Glaive is not very big, so the enemies can still see you, which kind of deems the item useless, but it's still very nice to clear out vision. So, keep in mind that you cannot gank a lane without being seen because of this item, because the enemies are still gonna see you, okay? Keep that in mind. Now, when is this item good? Actually, I have another thing to say about this item. This item also gives you 10 flat armor penetration. This item actually gives you the exact same stats as Yumo's Ghost Blade, as you can see. 50 attack damage, 10 ability haste, and 10 flat armor penetration. But of course, this one gives you a different passive. But um, Umbral's Glaive is very cheap, as you can see. 2,800 gold compared to 3,000. So this item is easier to get before the first dragon. I only suggest you to get this item on Lee Sin and uh, Wukong. It's really not good on any other champion. Okay, the video is already 23 minutes. What? I don't want this video to be an hour long. Okay, but I'm going to talk about any everything anyways. Luden's Echo. Luden's Echo, as you can see, gives you full stacks. As you can see, like I'm stacking it up. I'm stacking it up. Whenever you hit the enemy, nothing, nothing happens. When you have the full stacks, and I actually need to throw down another dummy here. Take a look at what happens. Boom, boom. You do damage to the enemy dummy. And um, I, I really want to take away the dummies. You do damage to the enemy dummy. And also, it pokes the enemies around him. And this also works on minions. If you throw the like, if you throw an ability on minions, it also throws the damage thingy on the enemies. This skills into the late game, by the way. As you can see, you deal 100 bonus magic damage plus 10% ability power. And it deals it to your target and up to three nearby enemies. So this item is good on poking champions like Orianna. Um, like uh, Ziggs, you know, like poking. If you want to poke, get this item. This is the ultimate poking item. Next item, more, 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 the, the, green, the, the blue, the green book. Okay, so this item gives you, I, I want you to pay attention to the bonus health as well because this is quite important. It gives you 300 health, 
70 ability power and again flat magic penetration flat not percentage so 15 magic penetration and i want you to take a look Jin has look at this Jin has 42 magic resist so if the enemy gets the green book they will shred 15 of that uh, magic resist so you will only leave 27 magic resist which is absolutely huge guys this item is really really good against squishy enemies oh i'm talking so much Another thing to note about this item is um, the magic damage applies grievous wounds to the enemies. So just like this item, mortal reminder, it reduces the enemy healing. When is this good? If the enemy has a lot of healing. But keep in mind, this item has flat magic penetration, not percentage. Now, talking about percentage uh, magic penetration, void staff. All this item does is it gives you ability power and 40% penetration. What? 40%? Like if the enemy has if the enemy has 200 magic resist this item will shred this item will shred uh, how much? 80 of it 80 so instead of 200 they'll only have 120 this item is huge against enemies who have a lot of magic resist one second I need to drink some water And my camera actually froze again Who do you get this item? Um, get this item if the enemies have built a lot of magic resist or or let's say you're already dealing enough damage and the enemy Darius built a lot of magic resist but all the other enemies didn't get any magic resist you can still choose to build a void staff just to be able to destroy the Darius you know because this is an absolute frontline destroyer okay uh let's take a look at Rabadon's death cap did I buy it yes so this item Firstly, it gives you 130 ability power, just flat, so it's a lot of ability power. And overkill increases all ability power by 40%. So whenever you have the green book and void staff, like this is 140 ability power and this is 130. So you will have 270 ability power and because of this passive, you'll put 40% on top of it. So you have like um, almost 400 ability power. Get Rabadon's death cap if you want damage the, all that everything that this item is about is damage so if you just want like a lot of ability power and damage get this item okay just basically that so really as crystal scepter 350 max health 70 ability power and what it does is damaging damaging act what does it say damaging active abilities and empowered attacks slows the enemies by one by 20 percent for one second so boom he is slowed. As you can see, there is like an icy area around him. Like, look, boom, he is slowed. That's all that this item does. This item is an absolute banger on Cinched. Because whenever the enemies are walking in Cinched uh, Trill, they will be slowed by 20%. So this, uh, basically, this item is only good on Cinched. I haven't seen any other champion where this item is good at, to be honest. Like, let me know in the comments if you think I'm wrong. By the way, let me know in the comments if I've said anything in this video which you didn't know about the items. Just let me know, okay? I'm curious. So, Leandris. Leandris is a beautiful early game item, but the thing is, it also skills into the late game. This is just an all-round beautiful item, and um, it's very in the meta right now. Let me explain to you why. Firstly, it gives you 250 max health. It gives you 70 ability power, which is really big, and it has a few passives. Let me explain. Madness deals 2% more damage for each second in combat. This is not only ability damage, this is just basically damage. So let's take a look. 80, 98, 101, 103. Like even my basic attacks deal bonus damage. And as you can see over there, you can see the Leandris passive. It's stacked at 5 right now. So like as you can see, I'm just dealing 10% more damage now with everything. And whenever you go out of combat, you know, it doesn't work anymore. But let me tell you a beautiful thing about this item so let me just throw one let me throw one ability on the enemy and i want you to take a look at how fast it stacks up boom five with one ability it's stacked up to five you might think why let me show you why <clears throat> so damaging abilities and empowered attacks deal one percent of the enemy's max hp as bonus magic damage over three seconds okay and this damage this damage doubles if they are slowed or immobilized so if you've slowed the enemy like this you know it will be double but the more important thing is because it deals damage over three seconds even one ability is going to give you five stacks of leandris look one ability 
five stacks of Leandris. So how do you want to utilize this item? Let's say you're playing Oriana. What you want to do is shoot your ball at the enemy. You know, th throw your balls at their face. Wait. Get the five stacks and then you can go in. Of course, this is not always the ideal situation, but this is a thing that you can keep in mind. You know, you can stack up 10% bonus damage before engaging a fight just by doing that. So very, very good item. Also, you know, the 1% the bonus damage over the of the max HP of the enemy can be good if the enemies have a lot of max HP. But basically, this item is really, really good early game and it skills into the late game. It's just an all-round item. Like, you can always get this item, really, in this current meta. Now, Rod of Ages is different. This item provides flat stats and stats over time. Let me explain. So I bought this item on minute 44 and 30 seconds. So now the item gives me 250 max health, 60 ability power and 300 max mana. One of the passives is restore mana equal to 15% of the damage taken. So whenever I take damage, if I take 100 damage, I restore 15 mana. It's as easy as that. And regen health equal to 20% of the mana spent. So whenever I use an ability, so here this ability uh, costs 60 mana. 20% of 60 is 12, so when I use this ability, I heal up by 12, 12 HP. This is not huge, but you know, it's okay. But the more important passive is the one under it, which is Veteran. Each stack provides 20 health, 10 mana, and 6 ability. You will stack up every 30 seconds. Every 30 seconds, you'll get 1 stack, up to 10 stacks. And when you have 10 stacks, which is after 5 minutes, because 10 times 30 seconds is 300 seconds, which equals to 5 minutes, you will have, uh, on top of the stats it already gives, so on top of the 250 health, 60 ability power, 30, 300 max mana, you will get another 200 health, another 100 mana, and another 60 ability power. So on total, this item, after 5 minutes of buying it, so this only, this only counts after buying the item, like you always have to build this first item, you know, if you build this as a second item, you're actually trolling. Always, always first. Um, so after 5 minutes, you'll have 450 bonus health, 120 ability power, which is almost as much as the Rebron's death cap, and you will have 400 max mana. So this item is really good if you want to scale into the late game. Okay, next item. Uh, can I sell it, please? Lich Bane. 80 ability power, 10 ability haste, 5% movement speed. Using an ability causes the next basic attack within 10 seconds to deal bonus magic damage. Equal to 75% of your base damage. Base. And 50% ability power. So let me show you. Normal basic attack deals 98 damage, but whenever I use an ability, boom. My next basic attack, boom. Did you see that bonus magic damage? Let me show you again. Boom. S like 78 magic damage or something. So this item, of course, after using an ability, the Lich Bane is going to get triggered. When is this good? Let me tell you when this is good. For example, on Fizz. Because Fizz can jump on enemies with his abilities. Uh, so you can get the free proc on the Lich Bane. And it only has a 1.5 second cooldown. So if you can spam it, you, you like you can get a lot of empowered attacks with the Lich Bane, which can be huge. Another good champion is Zix. Let's say enemies are diving you constantly, you can throw your bombs, and then every time after your abilities, you can hit them with a basic attack. Let me, another champion that this is good on is Evelyn, because whenever you use your third ability on Evelyn, you will you will proc the Lich Bane, thus allowing you to do a lot of bonus damage. You know, it's really good for burst damage. The next item is Archangel Staff. Now, this item is also built from a uh, Tear of Goddess. I already explained how it works. Tear of Goddess. Every 12 seconds, you can stack, you can trigger it up to three times. So, um, like, let me show you. One, two, three. And when I do it again, it doesn't happen. So, every 12 seconds, you can do three abilities to stack up um, um, mana. And... Um, like, this item gives you 35 ability power, 500 max mana, and 25 ability haste, which is kind of nice, you know, a lot of ability haste. Whenever, when you reach the 700 bonus mana, you'll, you'll evolve this item into a Seraph's Embrace, which gives you the passive, grants ability power equal to 3% of your max mana. So, let's say you have 1000 mana. Let, let, let's take a look at how much I have right now. I have... 1,773. So, this item is going to give me, uh, like, I, around 50 bonus ability power. 
and it also refunds 25% of the mana spent. So this item is going to give you unlimited mana, like literally unlimited mana. And you know, the damage is not really big on this item, but the unlimited mana can be good. So only get this item if you want unlimited mana. But as I said, like the damage is really, really weak on this one. The only champion I really built this on might be Orianna, but I don't even know if I should build it. So this is the next item, Nasher's Tooth. 50% attack speed, 70 ability power, 25 ability haste, attack steal bonus, 50% bonus damage. So look, boom, boom, my attack steal bonus magic damage, as you can see. They deal damage, uh, they deal 15 bonus magic damage, plus 15% of my ability power. Now, when is this good? This item is good if your champion relies on magic damage and if, you, if your champion relies on basic attacks. The only good example that I can think of right now is Teemo and maybe Diana. Because Teemo, when you're playing Teemo, um, of course you want to build ability power, but Teemo's basic attacks can also be obnoxious. So getting the bonus attack speed and the passive, which, you know, allows you to deal bonus magic damage in your basic attacks, is huge for Teemo. So get this item on Teemo and, like, it's not really worth on, on a lot of champions. Like, as I said, Teemo and Diana that I can think of right now. Ardent Sensor. Now, this item, um, I actually need to put... Yeah, I mean, I can show to you exactly how it works. Let me actually do it. Allied Dummy. And I'm going to change my champions just to show you how this works. So, confirm. I'm going to make myself Janna. Um, whenever you shield an ally or heal them up, I actually need to buy the item real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, here. Whenever you heal or shield an allied champion, both of you will gain attack speed and this skills with the levels and your attacks deal bonus magic damage over time. So whenever I shield the ally, <coughs> boom, I will get bonus attack speed, boom, boom. And boom, and I will deal bonus magic damage, as you can see. Like, now I don't deal it anymore. But whenever you shield an ally, you get the passive. As you can see, this is absolutely huge for for uh, 2v2s. Like, let's say you have a Jinx ADC, who can really utilize the bonus attack speed. And, um, like, when, I, when you're playing Janna, for example, the bonus magic damage that you get out of it is huge as well. Like, let's say I want to fight. First, I give him a shield, and then boom, I go in with the bonus jam magic damage. Look at how much damage I'm dealing. It's actually a lot. So, you know, use this when you're doing a 2v2 fight. Give your ally a shield, so they get bonus attack speed. And it also gives you attack speed, and it gives you bonus magic damage. This this is huge on champions that can, that can build a lot of... Um, uh, what was I talking about? This is huge on champions that can shield allies a lot, that can heal allies a lot, and basically that, you know, it's basically that. And I want to give you a tip, don't get this item when you have a when you have a Jin ADC. Because Jin doesn't really Jin doesn't really have attack speed. So whenever you buff the Jin, it's actually useless for him. So he's not going to, you know, get any advantage out of it. So keep that in mind, please, when using this item. So the next thing is, let me just buy Boots of Swiftness first, so I'm a little faster, uh, which is Hextech Gunblade. This gives you 30 attack damage, 60 ability power, 15% magical vamp, 15% physical vamp, which is lifesteal, and hitting an enemy champion with an attack or ability shocks them for bonus damage. As you can see, boom, it shocked him. And the cooldown is... 30% seconds, uh, 30 seconds, so now it's not gonna shock them anymore. So when is this good? On champions like Akali and Katarina. Basically dealing like a lot of poking damage, and it's also really good for bursting enemies down, because it also slows the enemy, like you'll do bonus damage, and it skills with ability power, you will slow them by 40% for 2 seconds as well. Which is really, really good. Like, look, this only deals 170 damage, and when I do it with this, boom, bonus one, like bonus damage. Which is really, really nice. So only get this item on Akali and Katarina. There might be other champions that I'm forgetting. I'm sorry if I did. But yeah. Harmonic Echo. Ah, oh, now I need to switch to Janna again. Why did I even... <laughs> why did I even do that? I'm so stupid. Uh, let's give her some gold. Level her up a few times. So Harmonic Echo is different from... Um, it's, it's like basically the same as Ardent Sensor. But it provides your ally with healing. And not only your ally. It provides a lot of allies healing. So let me show you. Allied Dummy. Allied Dummy. 
take a look at the passive over there, Harmonic Echo at 46, you can stack it up by walking around, and it doesn't stack when you hit the enemy, only by walking around. And when you hit your ally, boom, boom, we all heal up. As you can see, it heals 70 health plus ability power, so it stacks with ability powers. It heals it to your target and up to three nearby allied champions. So it's my target, and um, it's my target, the two dummies, and me. It doesn't work if you cast it on yourself. By the way, look, boom. Only on your allies, boom. This is really, really nice if you need the sustaining healing. Let me just take off my jacket. Um, this is really, really nice for the sustain healing. So whenever you're dealing, um, you're poking the enemies and they are poking you, you can out-trade them in the longer term by healing or by shielding your ally. Like, look, let's say they have Ziggs, we have Orianna, they're trading. I give my Z I give my Orianna the heal and all my other allies are going to heal up too. And this skills really well into the late game as well. So keep that in mind. Um, one second. By the way, I just saw casting abilities gives you stacks as well, as you can see. So casting abilities gives you 10 stacks. I forgot to mention that. Okay, let's get Boots of Swiftness again because I want to walk fast. The next item is... Athene's Unholy Grill. Now this is this is almost this is kind of uh, similar to Harmonic Echo because look, wait, you, I actually can't show it to you. Uh, stores thirty five percent. Oh, if enemies deal damage to you, you actually store it. And oh wait, I need to show it to you one second. I hope that the damage from turrets taken gets counted as well. Let's take a look. Let's walk to the turret. No, it doesn't count. So you just need to uh, uh, trust me on this one. If the enemy deals damage to you, you're going to stack up 30% of that damage as as uh, basically as damage, you know. And um, capped at 110 up to 250 based on your level. And then healing or shielding your allies. So if I give him a shield, it gives him the full healing. Like it heals up all the damage that I've stacked up, that I've stored up. So as it reads, it consumes all the blood to heal them for the equal value. So in the late game, it can be up to 250 health. So you take damage, then, you know, you can shield your ally and heal him up for a lot of HP. And that's all that this item does. Another thing to note about this item, which is really, really important, and I really want to tell you about it, is it gives you 40 magic resist. Now you might, you might ask, Hells, why the hell is it so important to note? Let me tell you why. Because if the enemy has a lot of magic damage, you can actually get this Athene's Unholy Grill quite early in the game to be like pretty tanky. Because this is going to make you a lot a lot tankier against magic damage, right? Because Janna doesn't have a lot of magic resist. As you can see, I have 79 right now. And if I sell this item, I'll only have 39. So, you know, this item can be absolutely huge in a case like that. Awaken Soul Stealer. What does this item do? It gives you stats, you know, ability power, max mana, ability haste. A lot of ability haste, by the way, 25. And it has a passive. Unique takedowns grant 3 ultimate haste. And ultimate haste reduces the cooldown of your ultimate as ability haste would. So, uh, if whenever you get an assist or a kill on a unique enemy champion, you can see here how many souls you have captured. And if you capture one soul, you'll get 3% bonus ultimate haste. And if you've, if you've catched five, it's going to be up to 15, 15 ultimate haste. So you'll get 25 ability haste. And on top of that, 15 as well on your ultimate. So you have 40 ability haste on your ultimate, which is really huge. Now, I only go for this item on Ari and Lux. Any other champion? Yeah, I only go for this item on them. I don't really like the item a lot because it doesn't really give you a lot of ability power. It gives you 65 and, you know, it, it's all about your ultimate, this item, basically. Okay, the last ability power item is uh, Infinity Orb. So, Infinity Orb gives you 200 max health, 60 ability power, 5% movement speed, and flat, flat 15 magic penetration again i explained during this video what flat means so you'll you know you know you'll get shred through 15 magic resist and if the enemy is under 20 uh, percent hp if they are under 20 percent hp your abilities are gonna crit and deal 20 percent bonus damage okay so whenever the enemy is under 35 percent hp all your abilities all your ability damage is gonna crit and deal 20% bonus damage. So this is an absolute 
squishy shred item like whenever you want to one shot enemy squishies get infinity orb get it on champions like katarina on akali on evelyn you know assassins this item is huge on assassins because the flat magic penetration is going to allow you to do way more damage to squishies and the critical strike you know dealing bonus damage is going to allow you to you know one shot them even faster okay on to the defense items which is yeah okay guardian angel what does guardian angel do let me show you what guardian angel does it is your guardian angel you can see the white thing around you like you can you know you have the guardian angel if you see the white thing whenever you die you're actually not gonna die like look let me show you so here boom i'm dead but i'm gonna get revived and when you revive you have an hp again as you can see and that's all that the guardian angel does honestly it gives you attack damage armor and this you know the guardian angel every 210 seconds so the next one is sunfire ages and let me show you what sunfire ages does here huh why is the enemy not taking damage deals 16 to 30 magic damage it skills to the uh, skills uh with your hp to enemy champions it seems like it's bugged with the dummy for some weird reason i don't really know why it's not dealing damage to the dummy but normally this one deals damage to enemies yeah i'm gonna show it to you on minions then so this deals damage equal to like magic damage and it skills with bonus hp so take a look why is it not working am i stupid or what I think I'm stupid. Deals damaging champions or epic monsters with emulate increases its damage. I, I, I don't know why it's not working, to be honest. I actually don't know why it's not working. <laughs> I, I, can someone please tell me? But I'm going to explain the item anyways, because I know how the item works. Um, it gives you max health and blah, blah, blah. So whenever you get close to an enemy, you will do bonus damage around you. Also to minions and epic camps. And if you stack a lot of HP, this item is huge. And let me explain another thing about it. Um, damaging champions or epic monsters with immolate, which is the passive, you know, when they're around you, increases its damage by 8% for 5 seconds. And this stacks up to six times. So it stacks up to 40%. Six times eight is 40. 48. I'm so sorry. I'm so stupid with math. <laughs> up to 48%. And at max stacks, when you have the max stacks, you know, when you have the six stacks, um, attacks burn enemies around you for immolate damage over three seconds. And immolate deals 150% damage to um, monsters. So instead of 148, it deals 150. This is huge. Like, if you get the full stacks, even attacking your champion is gonna apply the, the burn. So get this item on tanks like Malphite and Dr. Mundo. I still need to experiment with it on champions like Nasus, for example, and Alistar. Yes, I need to experiment on it, but this is an absolute beautiful item that allows you as a tank with a lot of hp to deal a lot of damage like this item is really really good like if you have 3000 hp for example or maybe even 4000 let's say 4000 you will deal 16 up to 30 magic damage plus 40 damage per second to nearby enemies every second guys and it's gonna stack up up to 150 percent so the 40 is gonna turn uh the 40 plus the magic damage is gonna turn into like almost 100 damage around you which is huge guys so get this item on tanks that have a lot of hp spirit visage very easy item it provides you with uh, magic resist bonus health bonus health region and all healing effects on you get increased by 30 percent so life steal uh when you when an ally heals you up uh the 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 green dragon i forgot the name of the green dragon but even the green dragon healing like every healing effect gets increased by 30 percent when is this item good first of all if your champion has a lot of lifesteal like nasus secondly if you have if you have a lot of healing in your team like soraka janna uh, sona you know if you have them in your team spirit for is beautiful of course get spirit for if you need the magic resist of, as well right the next one is why can I not sell it? Is Randuin's Omen. It gives you bonus health, bonus armor, and reduces damage from critical strikes by 15%. So if an enemy Jinx will deal 200 critical damage to me, if I get a Randuin's Omen on top of the armor, of course, it reduces the 200 by 15%. So instead of 200, it deals 170 damage. 
On top of that, reduce the attack speed of enemies by 15% for 1.5 seconds when, when, you know, when they hit you. So if the enemy Jinx hits me, not only does it decrease the critical damage, it also decreases her attack speed by 15%. Get this item. First of all, if the enemy have a lot of... Um, uh, if the enemies have a lot of critical damage and secondly if they have a lot of ranged attacks from attack damage carries that you want to slow right okay the next item is thormil now first of all i want to tell you about thormil that it gives you a lot of armor so let's compare it with some other items this one gives 55 this one gives 40 Th thormil gives 75 armor it also gives you max health but it's all about the passive being hit by an enemy champion reflects magic damage to them plus 10% bonus armor so it's skill like the more armor you get the more damage you will deal and when you reflect damage you will inflict grievous wounds on them for three seconds okay so like the reduced healing this item is really really good if you want to reduce the enemy healing immobilizing enemy champions also inflicts this effect so uh boom the effect i inflicted the effect now you know when you immobilize the enemies you will also inflict the effect like the grievous wounds this item is an absolute banger on Alistar because on Alistar you want to spam armor. So first of all, it's going to do a lot of damage. Secondly, you know, you're, you're going to put, uh, put a lot of grievous wounds on the enemies because you're going to immobilize them. Third of all, it gives you a lot of armor. So next item, frozen mallet. It gives you max health and attack damage. I don't really understand why this is a defense item because it doesn't provide you with, with defense. It only gives you max health, but let's take a look at it. Attacks slow enemies by 40% for 1.5 seconds. Slow amount halved for range target. So look, boom, he is slowed. But it's halved because I'm ranged. So it's 0.75 seconds for a range target. Like, I never go for this item personally. I never go for it because it's kind of bad. Because it only gives you 25 attack damage and 500 max health. And, you know, the slow is okay. But I don't like this item. Like, I never go for it. Okay. Next one is Warmog. So, Warmog, whenever, whenever you have more than 2500 HP, and right now on Janna I have 2040, so I actually need more items, so now I have 2500. Let me show, I'm actually gonna show you what this item does. If you get under, like, if you get damaged, um, um, you, like, it, wait, let me explain it one second. 5% of your health gets restored after 6 seconds of not being in combat, as you can see. So let's take damage from the turret. I'm gonna show you how it works. Like boom, 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 boom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm healing up. Look. And this is all that this item does. It heals 5% of your max HP. Like as you can see, it just heals me up all the way to max HP. Now, when is this item good? Let me tell you. This item would be good as like a fifth item addition to a tank. Like let's say you already have tons of armor, tons of um, magic resist and everything. Warmock can make you even tankier by giving you 700 max health. 200% magic uh, health regen and the passive that allows you to heal up all the way to your um, to your max HP again. This is good if you want to engage in little skirmishes, like little fights, go out and then go in again, you know, go in again. The video is almost an hour long. I need to be a little faster. So I cannot buy this item because I'm ranged. I'm still gonna, wait, I'm actually gonna swap champions to show you this item anyways, um, because I'm, I'm a legend. I'm gonna show it to you anyways. Okay, so let's level up some time. Let's get some gold. So this item, Starix Gauge. Um, first of all, it gives you 400 max health. Secondly, plus 50 base attack damage. So here, uh, as you can see, I have 154 now. This is like I used to have 100. I'm actually going to prove it to you uh, in base. I'm going to sell it. And this one gives you bonus... Um, bonus base attack damage now you might have seen this uh, base attack damage thingy earlier which is here in the trinity force trinity force deals bonus physical damage equal to 200 percent of base attack damage and to answer your question yes it skills with starrux gauge so this item is going to give you 
uh, 50% bonus base attack damage, which also will stack in the Trinity Force. So getting these two items is a perfect combination. So another thing about this item is damage that puts you under 35% HP, <clears throat> damage that puts you under 35% HP, grants you a shield equal to 75% bonus health that you have that decays over three seconds and it has a 90 second cooldown. And on top of that, on top of that, during those three seconds, you'll have 30% tenacity. So let me show you. When I get under 35% HP, boom, you become super big. Okay, I died anyways, but you'll become super big and um, get increased tenacity. You'll get a lot of HP back. This is really, really huge, guys, on champions that want to dive in hard, like Darius, like maybe even Nasus. You know, this is going to give you that extra little survivability to allow you to continue fighting, you know, and also the tenacity can be very good against um, um, enemy enemy stuns and things like that. So as you can see, I have 154 base attack damage. When I sell it, I have 105. Now, as you can see, this item doesn't give me any attack damage. It's base attack damage. So this item, as I said, skills with base attack damage. And the Trinity Force is going to give me even more damage because of that. You know, like keep in mind, these two items are a beautiful combination. You almost always want to get a Steric Gage when you have a Trinity Force. <sighs> okay, Iceborne Gauntlet. Now this item, whenever you use an ability, your next basic attack, boom, is going to put ice on the ground. Okay, and that's all that it does. It's going to, like, you'll deal uh, damage based on your base damage. You know, 100% of your base damage. So it's half the amount of the Trinity Force. So, um, it's this item is basically a Trinity Force with armor, but it deals less damage and it slows the enemy. That's basically this item. Like, look, boom, boom. This is what the item does. And let me show you one thing. When you stack a lot of armor, when you stack a lot of armor... Look at the ice field. Boom. Look at how big it becomes. And actually, this item doesn't have a cooldown, as you can see. Like, you can keep putting the ice down on the ground. Actually, it does have a cooldown. Wow. I just got embarrassed on my video. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so um, it skills with armor, as you can see. So the more armor you buy, the bigger the icy field is. And that is it. That's what the item does. It is good if you can utilize the slow. And it is good if you build a lot of armor on your champion. Deadman's Blade gives you bo bonus max health, bonus armor, and it gives you the same passive as Yumo's Ghost Blade. Like, as you can see, when I'm walking around, by the way, boom, you deal bonus damage equal to your stacks, as you can see, 15, 8, like, you deal bonus damage equal to your stacks, and whenever you, you reach 100 stacks, look at this, you become faster. Like, you'll get, you'll stack up the movement speed up to 50 movement speed and let me show you how much 50 is boots only give you 20 and this item gives you 50 when you stack it up and on top of that it also gives you five percent bonus movement speed which is really really huge guys like this item if you want to be fast and have armor get that man's plate and like on top of that as i said hitting the enemy boom deals bonus damage and that's all that this item does when is this item good this item is good if you need armor and movement speed that's it. Armor, movement speed, and also it gives you damage, you know? It's it's okay damage. Now, this item, which is Abyssal Mask, I want to test something real quick. Wait, I need to swap champions for this item. Um, change champions to Jin. Abyssal Mask is a very, very interesting uh, item. So, I'll explain to you exactly what it does right now. Let's upgrade. Get some of this. Um, buy this. Okay, so Abyssal Mask. Let's say I bought an Abyssal Mask on Jin. First of all, what it does, it gives you magic resist, health, blah, blah, blah. So this item is good if you need magic resist. So a thing to note is restores mana equal to 15% of the damage taken, blah, blah, blah. It's the same as the Rod of Ages, you know, it's it's kind of nice because it heals you up and it gives you mana, but it's not a lot. Like this is not a lot. But the more important thing is Abyssal. Nearby enemy champions take 15% bonus magic damage. Let me prove it to you. Boom. <laughs> Wait. No, no, no. I can prove it with this ability. I'm so sorry. So let's take a look at how much damage it deals. 200. Wait, how much was it? 236, I think. Yes. So when I get close to the enemy. 272, which is 15% more. Now, this is not only for your magic damage. As it reads, nearby enemy champions take 15% 
bonus magic damage. So if I have an Orianna in my team, a Seraphim, they are all going to deal 15% bonus damage. All I got to do is get close to the enemy. Now, when is this item good? This item is really, really good if you, if you think that your team deals a lot of magic damage. So let's say you're playing, uh, like you're playing support Alistar and in your team you have Cannon, you have uh, Jungle Evelyn, you have mid lane Akali. If you have that, no matter if the enemy has magic damage, you get an Abyssal Mask, okay? Because you're literally going to boost your allies damage by 15%. All you got to do is get, in, get close to the enemies. That's all you got to do. And that's all that this item does. The next item is Zeke's Convergence. Now, let me explain to you what this item does. First of all, 40 armor, 40 magic resist. So, very, very good all around item. And casting your ultimate surrounds you with a blizzard and ignites a nearby ally's attacks for 10 seconds. Your blizzard slows enemies by 20% and your ally's attacks burn for 30% bonus magic damage. So, when I use my ultimate, here, blizzard, this blizzard slows the enemy. And if I had an ally close to me, he would get bonus damage on his basic attacks. Only when I cast my ultimate, by the way. So let's, let, there is more to it. Let's read. Um, um, prioritizes highest attack damage carry. So when you're with four of your allies, it's going to prioritize your ADC if he has the most uh, attack damage. And Frostfire Covenant, your blizzard ignites if it slows a burning enemy. So if my ally... Listen carefully, guys. Um, if my ally who has the buff... You know, who has the buff to do bonus magic damage, hits this dummy. Then I'm not going to slow the enemy. I'm actually, well, I'm going to slow him as well, but I'm going to do bonus damage as well. Like, as you can see, dealing 40 damage per second. And the slow is actually doubled. I can see that now here. The slow goes from 20% 20, 20 over 2 seconds to 40% over 3 seconds. So how do you utilize this, oh, this, this item? Let's say you're playing Alistar and you have a Jinx. You use your old you go in and you use your ultimate, then your jinx needs to hit the enemies. And if they do that and you stick to the enemies, you're gonna slow them a lot and deal massive damage. And that's what the item does. I really hope it cleared it up, okay? <laughs> so this item is good on champions like Alistar, Braum, you know, uh, basically those champions. Who else? Alistar Braum. I can't think of any other champion. You know, whenever you use your ultimate, you'll buff your ADC super hard. Protector's Vow. I need an allied dummy for this. Actually, let me explain to you first. That's better. So, it gives you max health, armor, and raise your guard when next to an allied champion. If you or an ally take damage from a, from a champion, monster, or turret, both of you will receive a shield. And it stacks up with your bonus HP. So, the more HP you have, the bigger the shield. And it also stacks with ability power. And you will also get 20% movement speed for 1.5 seconds. And it has a 30% cooldown. So, like, if I have an ally here. Uh, ally dummy. You can see the range of it, by the way. Like, here. This is the range of it, as you can see. If my ally takes damage, then I'm going to give them the shield. You know, I'm going to give them the shield. I actually want to show it to you. So, let's go here. I'm going to show it. I want to show you all the items, right? And the video is officially over one hour. Unbelievable. So let's put an allied dummy here. Boom. Here. That's the shield. That what that and that is it. That's the only that's the only use of this item. So that's basically what the item does. It gives your allies a shield equal to your bonus HP and ability power and movement speed. I only like this item on Braum and Alistar. I don't even build it on Alistar anymore, but it can be good if you want to be like a real support to your team. But if you want to hard carry the game alone, don't go for it. Now, the next item is, which is also a very interesting item. Let's sell this, by the way. Uh, how do I sell it? This, Winter's Approach. <clears throat> so, th um, this item gives you max mana, ma max health, and 10 ability haste. So... What does this item do? Grants ability haste equal to 1% of your maximum mana. Oops, I just used my ultimate. So right now, I have 1,696 mana. 1% 1 of that is 17%. So on top of the 10 ability haste that, I, that this item already gives you, gives you, you're gonna have 17 ability haste as well. And again, this item, this item also has a tier of goddess. So when building this item, 
of course, you always want to start with a Sapphire's Crystal, which is this item. Sapphire Crystal. Always start with this so you can stack up and get a lot of bonus mana to make this item even better. So, um, when you get the full stacks, it changes into Fimble Winter, which gives you another thingy, which is... Uh, another passive which is frozen colossus immobilizing an enemy champion consumes mana and grants a shield for three seconds absorbing damage and this also stacks up um, it work like it's five percent of your current mana so it like if you have a lot of mana this is really really huge this is very nice for survivability guys it like this item gives you max health and a lot of ability haste and a lot of mana so if you need that you can go for this item however I don't recommend this item. I've tried this item on some champions and it's just absolute garbage. So don't go for it. Frozen Heart gives you a lot of armor and reduces the attack speed of nearby enemies by 15%. Now, honestly, um, honestly, I'm going to be very honest. Oh, here, you can actually see it here. Like it reduces the enemies from this range. Let me check how far the range is. So this is the range. Look at how big the range is. Wow. So whenever you get close to an enemy, like this is already close enough, you will reduce their attack speed by 15%. So let's say you're in the middle of the fight, you can reduce all enemies' attack speed by 15%. And the range is actually huge as you can see. Look, look, Th this far, this is how far, which is like I can't even hit the enemy with Jin. And, and, and like if he has this item, he'll reduce my mo um, attack speed. So get this item. If you feel like you can utilize the um, like the big range, because of course, like Randuin's Omen is just better than Frozen Heart. Because first of all, Randuin's Omen gives you uh, uh, more max health, and secondly, the, it reduces critical strikes by fifteen percent. However, this item is going to reduce the enemy attack speed even if they don't hit you. So keep that in mind. You know, um, I never really, I never really go for this item, but I might go give it a try. Now here's Force of Nature. It gives you 350 max health, 45 magic resist, but here is the important part. Of course, 5% bonus movement speed is up, but the important part is taking ability damage grants you 6 movement speed and 6 magic resist for 5 seconds, stacking up to 5 times for a bonus of 30 movement speed and 30 magic resistance. So whenever you're in a fight and take damage from, um, from unique abilities, five times yes five times you will stack another 30 magic resist and 30 movement speed this item is huge if you like if you don't want to go spirit visage go for this item um, and if you don't feel like you can use the abyssal mask passive which allows your team to deal with bonus magic damage get force of nature i don't like it personally well actually i do like it. what am i talking about this item is huge against champions like cannon aurelian soul gragas you know if they keep dealing damage this damage this item is huge so all that's left guys are the boots so let's talk about the boots the normal boots give you 20 movement speed and increase mo increases movement speed by 15 percent by activating them speaks for itself now all these upgrades gives you give you 40 movement speed except for the boots of swiftness but i'll talk about it later so glutinous griefs gives you eight percent lifesteal and that's all that it gives you of course, it gives it gives you forty percent movement, uh, forty movement speed as well. But it's all about the life steal. Get these boots if you need life steal on Jinx, Kaisa, Ezreal. It's all good, you know. Get the boots of swiftness. Like as you can see, boots of swiftness give you ten more movement speed. But the more important thing is, movement speed slows are reduced by thirty percent. So if you're playing against the Janna, her second ability is gonna is gonna slow you less. You know, if the slow, like this, this, these boots are really good if the enemies have a lot of slows. It doesn't do anything against stunts or anything like that, only against slows. So keep that in mind. Like Darius' second ability slows. Uh, oops. Uh, what? Oops, another. So Jin's third ability also slows. You know, these abilities are slowing, and then you should get boots of swiftness if you feel like you can utilize it. Now, Mercury's Threads, on the other hand, it does work against stuns, taunts, slows, everything fierce. So, it gives you 10 magic resists, which is okay, you know, it's it's magic resist. And it reduces the duration of stuns as it reads her stuns, slows, taunts, fierce, silences, blinds, uh, everything, charms, by 35%. So, let's say the enemy Seraphim would charm you for 2 seconds normally. 
because of this item it's actually not going to be two seconds it's going to be 1.3 seconds which is huge guys these boots are so good these are such good boots like get these boots if the enemies have a lot of stuns if they have a lot of charms and everything like that if the enemies only have a lot of slows it could be better to get boots of swiftness because these boots also give you movement speed so plated steel caps these boots are also really nice because first of all they give you 15 armor and secondly which is the most important one is blocks 15 percent damage from basic attacks so if if the enemy jinx would deal 200 damage to me she would actually deal 170 to me if I have these boots because it blocks 15% of her damage. Now, Ionian Boots of Lucidity, it gives you 15 ability haste and it reduces all spell cooldowns by another 15%. So on top of the, on top of the ability haste, it also reduces the cooldowns by 15%. Oh, we actually still have the enchantments. Oops. Stasis Enchant. Um... As it reads, become invulnerable. I'm actually going to show you what they all do. So let's show it. Here. Boom. So whenever, like, whenever you dive into the enemy, you can use stasis to dodge, like, damage. Under turrets, you can also dodge turret shots with it. Like, this is literally going to make you invulnerable for 2.5 seconds. It's really good against Zed ultimate, Fizz ultimate, you know, things like that. Because... Like, if Zed uses his ultimate on you, you can use your stasis, and then the ultimate is gonna do zero damage. So, let's, let me show you the next one, um, which is Locket. So, let's get a Locket. What does Locket do? It gives you and allies close to you a shield. Let me show it to you like this. It's very, very easy to understand. Alli allied dummies. Boom. It all gives them a shield. And that's it. That's, that's literally all that this one does. And, um, yeah, that's it. So, let's go to the next one. Glorious Enchant gives you movement speed when moving towards an enemy champion, as you can see. And when you get onto the enemy champion, you will release an aura that slows the enemy. So as this reads, you will gain 15% movement speed. So whenever you run, you will gain 15% movement speed. But when you move towards an enemy, look, I become super fast. When you move towards an enemy, you gain 60% movement speed. And you will slow them by 50% for 2 seconds when you <coughs> proc this thing. Really, really good on champions like Nasus, like Darius, if you want to chase the enemy, right? So let's go on to the next item, which is Proto Belt. What does this do? It's like a mini flash. Look, boom. Basically flash, but not as fast. Like flash is, of course, instant. This is not instant. You know, get this item if you need another gap closer. Um, let's go to the next one, which is Quicksilver Enchant. Whenever you get stunned by something, I cannot show it to you now, but let's say I get stunned, you can get out of it. Quicksilver is going to get you out of any CC except knockups. So when a Malphite uses his ultimate on you, you cannot actually use Quicksilver out of it. You cannot do it. So this only works on charms, taunts, stuns, slows, everything except for knockups. And yeah, as it reads, it does not remove knockups or knockbacks. So get this item if you really feel like you need it to stop stuns from the enemies and things like that. I never get it, however. So Gargoyle, increase your health by 60, 56%, 65%. As you can see, boom, it increases my health by 65%. And I take reduced damage. It reduces the damage by 60% from the enemies. But I will also deal reduced damage. Yes, yes. While reducing damage dealt by 60%. Actually, no, I'm sorry. You don't take reduced damage. You only get bonus health. It just reduces your damage. So as you can see, my damage normally deals... 96 damage but when i use gargoyle it only deals 39 get this item is if you just want to tank if tanking is all you want to do another thing to note is um gargoyle gives you um increases your health by 130 percent if there's actually three enemies nearby so let's put some enemies down enemy dummy as you can see if i use it now boom i actually look at how much hp i have like 5000 hp which is really, really huge. And um, let's talk about the ones that's left. Redeeming Enchant allows you to put this here and heal your allies. Like you'll heal your allies and deal damage to your enemies. Like this will heal your allies. Another thing to note is, uh, which I'll show you at the end of this video, is if you are dead, you can still use Redeeming Enchant, even if you're dead. But let me show you later. Uh, Actually, I cannot show it to you here in the mo in the practice mode, but you can do it. Even if you're dead, you can use the Redeeming Enchant. Shadows Enchant is going to put two shadows out of you, chase enemies, and slow enemies. 
the longer they travel, the bigger the slow is. As it reads, they're slowed for up to 40% for 5 seconds. Like when you shoot it really close to the enemies, it's not going to be 40%. But when you shoot it a little far away like this, and they, they travel, boom, then you get the 40% stun. Get this if you just want to slow the enemy while chasing them down. Teleport, what does teleport do? You can teleport. <laughs> That's what it does. Now you can teleport to uh, champions, to allied champions. As you can see, I can teleport to these guys. You can teleport to wards. So if I put down a ward here, I can teleport to it. And you can teleport to turrets. And that's it. And I am so done with this video, guys. One hour and... What? One hour and 15 minutes. Yo, guys, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure to give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. This video cost... <laughs> You know what? Enough of me. I'm pretty sure you got enough of me. Go to bed. Do something. Thank you for watching. And if, you've, if you're still watching to this part, please let me know in the comments. Because then I know you're an absolute legend. I will see you all in the next Wild Rift video.